Hi guys, um, as some of you may know, we uh, purchased a new 10G radio for Thomas, and the uh, plan was to actually link both of these up uh, using um, just a standard stereo um, audio plug, and um, that then would allow us to run uh, one of these in trainer mode, um, which means um, I could basically take over the controls if required, especially while he's learning to fly the uh, P51 Mustang D. Um, connected them all up and um, turns out it didn't work. Did some research on the internet and looks as though um, there's a mod that you need to do. So what I thought I would do is um, actually run you through the mod itself while I do it. That way um, you can see exactly how it's done. Looks as though it's pretty simple anyway. So um, what you'll need for this is a Phillips head screwdriver. You're going to need solder or solder depending on where you're from. Flat head screwdriver which will help remove part of the track. Also an X-Acto knife or a sharp knife of some sort to remove part of the uh, track on the circuit board. Two 1 kilo ohm resistors, one per radio control. You're going to need your soldering iron plus side cutters. First thing we need to do is remove the battery. And just note the orientation of this cable here. Uh, you have the negative um, on the far left and the positive on the far right. And all we need to do is remove that. Like so. And then we remove these five screws. Okay, now that we've removed all the screws, just carefully pull the radio apart and as you should be able to see, we need to disconnect this cable here and that's disconnected. We can put this part aside. Okay, so this is basically the back of the radio and what we need to do is cut one of these traces and I'll just come in nice and close. What we need to do is cut this track here. So we want to break that connection there. And it leads all the way down to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, leg number 6. Okay then, so it's that one there. Okay then, so all we need to do is cut one of these away. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm just going to cut a section very, very carefully. Now I um, don't know how well you can see this, but I have definitely removed that trace, which is the one to um, this one here. Comes all the way down, and I cut the track there. So that's no longer connected. And what we need to do now is put a resistor between there and leg number six, which is this one here. <coughs> and it's a um, 1K resistor. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is just basically tin the tips of this. I'm happy with that. You don't have to do this next step, but what I like to do is um, just put um, some heat shrink on this, just so it doesn't actually inadvertently short circuit anywhere. This heat shrink I've got is a little bit too big. 
but it will do the job. Well, that will just about do it. So what I'm going to do now is just basically tin that track, which is number one, two, three, four, five, six. Six is the one I want. There we go. Grab myself a bit of solder. And there we go, that's in place now. And a little bit more solder here. And there we go, our resistor is soldered in place. And that's basically all this little fix is. So as I've said before we're going from this one here all the way along down to leg number six and we've cut the track there and that's all there is to it. It's just a matter of now putting the radio back together again and this should work. So all we have to do now is just basically put it back together again. That's basically the reversal of what we did before. Just a matter of putting the battery back in again now and that's pretty much all there is to it. Make sure you get this the right way around. And that's it. Okay, so what we've got now is both of these radio controls have actually been modified with the resistor in place and the um, track on the circuit board uh, cut. Um, and what we're going to do, this radio is actually already paired up with the receiver in this model here, in the kinetics. And what we're going to do is enable trainer mode on this radio. Okay, so we're going to do the mod now. Excuse the beeping, but the, radio, the battery is actually running low on this, uh, on this radio. So you'll have to just bear with me on that. So what we're going to do now is enable trainer. What we do is go into the menu. Go into settings, um, move down to trainer, and we're only running the kinetics in three channels, so we're going to enable it on the ailerons, we're going to enable it on the elevator, and also the rudder. Once we've done that, hit the menu, and we can get out of that menu now, that's done. So trainer mode is actually enabled on this radio. Okay, this is the radio that we enabled trainer mode on, and this is the radio that the um, student will be using. This radio control is paired up with the receiver on this one. This one is not paired up with this at all. What we need to do is first switch this on. Don't worry about the beeping, that's only because my battery is running low on this one. I've plugged in the audio cable now, and Thomas, you need to do the same with yours. Make sure your throttle's down. I'm switching on the model. The model's there. Um, use your controls without using throttle. So he's got elevator control. And he's also got aileron control. He's also got throttle too. A little bit of throttle, that'll do. Now, I hold the um, trainer button, the trainer switch, and I've got controls. Move your controls, Thomas. 
and Tom's got no control whatsoever. I let it go, and he's got control again. And I take control back again, he's lost control. I've got it all again. And that's all there is to it. Hope you found that useful. Please don't forget to rate and subscribe. Thank you.